So I got a couple of questions for Lisa and Bridget. Um, talking about leadership and motiva motivation, um, obviously when you were an athlete, we know what motivated you. It was championships and gold, gold medals. Um, did that motivation dilute it after you won the third gold medal? And also, the second question would be, what's, um, what motivates you into the business world? What's your ultimate goal or your ultimate gold medal in, on the business uh, side? Mm -hmm. And the same question would be for Bridget. Bridget, what's your gold medal, Olympic gold medal in, in business? Is it just becoming a CEO? Do you want it? Do you want a second gold medal? Or what is your <laughs> ultimate uh, gold medal? <laughs> I love the basketball metaphors. <laughs> Since I actually have the gold medals, I guess I'll answer first. Uh, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> The motivation is really the same motivation, the reason why I picked up the ball. I really genuinely love people, and I find that in our society we're so divided for so many different creeds and beliefs that sports is just one of the many things that bring people together. And uh, I used to play just because I, I love to win now, and I love the, the trophies and the, the gold medals, but I really love to look in the stands and just see people together, um, you know, cheering and happy. And I think that the same thing applies to me now that I'm done playing basketball. And the business world is, again, giving back, bringing people together, and uh, you know, defying the odds of the racism and all the things that separate us, our religions and all those things that are so man-made versus the fact that the core of, the, of it is that we're, we're people. And I love that. I just, I, I really do love people, the interaction and bringing us together and whether it, I'm able to motivate or bringing teams together. I've always been about other people. I'm a very unselfish person and I'm selfless. And I love that about myself, even though that's sometimes my weakness because I get my feelings hurt after a while, <laughs> you know, because everybody's not that way. Everybody's endeavoring their hearts, not in, about just being together. Some people are vindictive. Some people have other ulterior motives. Some people are just mean. And um, you come in contact with those people. But I think when I look at the big picture of what I'm able to give and help and see how I touch the lives of kids, whether it's in my academy or being a part of business and motivating or hearing the feedback from people who thought they were too old to change their careers. And I'm like, no, change. Go back to school. Like, you can do it. That, that's what it's all about. It's really just about people. And um, maybe I'm just, uh, you know, that kind of girl. I'm just really sensitive. I love people. And... That's why I played for the gold medals and my gold medals in business is also just to, to help bring people together and, and get on one accord, be happy, be better than what they started with. By the way, I mean, the Leadership 2.0 <laughs> side is, is um, you can pay me for that later. Okay. <laughs> is, I mean, it's really, it's, it's really working well because, you know, people sense that in your, in your writing and in your conversations. Um, I, I don't, I think if you've, played sports, if it's been a big part of your life, and it has for me. I started swimming competitively when I was five, until I was old enough to get out of the pool without my parents making that decision for me. Um, and I, I'm a runner. And you know, when you, when you have that thing inside of you that connects your, um, your mind to your body, it's, um, it's just a full-on assault on whatever's in front of you. And you can carry that into business. And, uh, and I think it's a big part of what keeps you, you know, lit up and, and just really focused. And when I think about what I want to do, um, I want to do in, um, what I'm doing now. I mean, I love it. I have to, I've been a turnaround person for a long time. I do the things that everybody says is too broken to fix. And ASUG is different because I got here and I just fell in love with the whole concept of community. I mean, you can't have one without, you can't have one person without the next without the next. And you can't have the person that tells you how incredibly happy they are with the person who, and there's a couple of people out here who say this, they're not always so happy. And um, you know, I really, I like it. People told me when I got here three years ago that we couldn't do the things that we're doing today. And I said, hell, we can't. Yes, we can. And, uh, and we're doing it. And the cool thing is that we're doing it together. I mean, it's not, it's not just an incredible staff of 50. It's an incredible community of 130,000 people that all believe something. And so when you think about what you want to do, you don't know how to top that. And so for me, it would be staying and growing something like that or finding a challenge that is um, perhaps as, um, as difficult to achieve as this has been, which of course makes it that much more rewarding when you feel like people are starting to come together and the synergies are starting to translate into productivity. And uh, it's just a fantastic experience. 
I, it must be an incredible thrill to have a medal hang around your neck, but um, it's a thrill every day for me to... <laughs> four. Not one. Four. Four. Not one. Four times. <laughs> so, Bridget, did you... I think wearing. we're going to have to have a pickup game or something. Aren't you? <laughs> well, you already beat me in arm wrestling. You I don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh, well, you cheated. You you said cheated. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is, uh, I, I, I would imagine it must be an incredible honor because you've got this tangible thing that represents all of your accomplishments and efforts and, and what you've been striving for. Um, I feel like I have a gold medal every time I walk down the hall and someone stops me and says, "I'm so happy to be here." And so, you know, that may seem a little, um, you know soft but it feels so good and so I want I want to walk down the hall and hear that more often which means I have to go to work every day and believe everything's possible and make everything work so that that happens the next time and the next time that's great advice Bridget thank you I know we're running thank to the you. top of the hour um, we top have bottom, top some, bottom. One, one, eh, 130 bottom of the hour end of our one more question Do we have time for one very one, one quick last question, question. To squeeze in. Sure, please. all right Leslie well, when you manage up, how do you manage your coach? You have a coach that you need to influence. All of us have bosses that we need to influence. How do you, suggestions about how to influence your boss and how to change his behaviors to be more, I don't know, aligned with yours or however you want to put it. Yeah. And then I also, if you could repeat the seven P's again real quick, I'd love to hear that. Proper prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in terms of influencing even a coach, manager, someone that is above you, uh, I would use the exact same skill sets that I would influence and to change my own teammates. And that is to, one, get to a point where you're a good listener of what their goals and their objectives are for the whole group. And then maybe you, you take those goals back, you communicate them to your teammates, you get feedback from your group, your project group, whatever your group is that you're working with, and then you go back, and you don't want to seem like the person who you're the only one who has the up to talk to the, the manager or the boss, but it's good to create that interpersonal communication where, hey, I'm trusting you with this is what the group thinks, but also I understand what you think, and I want to understand more so that I can bridge that gap. Then you may create a time where you can could then give suggestions of, I heard what you said about this. I sort of talked to the group. What do you think about the possibilities of us doing, you know, X, Y, and Z? Not to, I mean, you know, obviously you make the final, you know, you have to be very gracious in this. Uh, it's things like I would tell to my own coach when I thought we should be in a zone right now because somebody's killing us over here, but I can't go and say we need to be in a zone. That wouldn't make sense. But, you know, if I go to my coach and I say, hey, I just wanted to suggest because she's, she likes to shoot on this side, if we did a zone, maybe we could probably stop her from getting that one shot. Just a suggestion. It might not happen in that moment, but at some point in the game, our team's going to be in zone because it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you just have to communicate your thoughts, and it's definitely how you communicate. It's always like that old saying, not what you say, but it's how you say it. And trust, again, your boss has to know that he, can, he or she can trust you with information that maybe the whole group should not be privy to, but again, you communicate that diplomatically, and maybe here are some thoughts and suggestions, but you know, don't overdo it. Excellent. Thank you, Bridget, Lisa, Joel, Bill. Um, we actually, I'm, I'm asked Lisa to join us in the ASUG booth on the show floor between 2 and 2.30. We're doing a, an additional meet and greet, and I'm going to put you on the spot, Bill, because I know there's a lot of additional questions. Um, so if you come to the show floor, when you first walk in through the south floor on the left is the ASUG booth. We'll have some photos with Lisa, and if you have additional questions for Bill, uh, welcome you to join us. Unfortunately, I know that Joel and, and Bridget both have additional meetings this afternoon. So I want to thank you all for being here today. I think this has oh, been a dynamic thank question. You. Yeah. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you.